You would think that color is really just a aesthetic choice when you're talking about choosing color for advertising. But in reality, it's a crucial element to um, the communication that advertisers use to tell you about their product. So when you see the logos, um, it's not a choice because people like it. It's really because they want you to think of one sort of emotion or connect to you um, in a certain way. And you can see that in these logo displays, that things on the left, which are the cooler, tend to be the trustworthy ones, where um, your sort of vibrant colors of the warmer colors um, tend to have action or um, make you excited. So we see this in the Red Bull. It is energy. It makes you want to have energy. And um, it increases your actual like metabolic system. So you tend to um, think that that's going to be exciting. So red is exciting. It's powerful. It makes your um, metabolism actually go up and your heartbeat go up. So things like McDonald's and that would want you to actually um, think of that when they're actually um, in their restaurants. Um, it makes you want to eat more. It has passion associated with it. So virgin um, mobile wants you to think of passion. They're advertising to a younger group. They don't want to be your grandmother's cell phone um, provider. So there's some sort of paradox. This is very different when you get to the cooler um, colors. For example, um, with green, you would actually um, think of things like nature. You would think of things of being refreshing. And you also see this with um, what's called greenwashing, which is a movement to get people to think that things are more environmental than they actually are. Um, so regardless of what the actual content of the stuff inside, the idea of using green is to make you think that you are being more environmentally conscientious by buying that product. On the other end, you can actually see um, green being used in a different way, um, which makes you people think that things are healthier. So we see this with um, Subway. They want to differentiate themselves from, say, the McDonald's and that kind of fast food. They're fast food, but they want you to think that um, what you're eating is a healthier choice while it is still yummy and has all those um, sort of qualities that you see there. And you can see that because they also use yellow. Um, it also makes you think that things are refreshing that you can have teas and have a sense of being more connected to nature. So there, you can see that in multiple ways in which green is used. So what you could do is you could look at advertisements that use green and think about why. So yellow is a little different. Yellow can be, um, it is often used complementary. It is hard to read in and of itself, so it might have a black background to outline it. It in and of itself cannot be read very easily when it's small. That being said, it's a really great um, color because it makes people think things are cheap. They're accessible, and you can see that with No Name. No Name's basic underlying idea is they want you to think, this is just as good as anything else, but you're going to get it for a cheaper um, amount. Yellow is often used in grocery stores to sort of accent a sales color. Um, and you can also see it because there's another sense um, that it's has a yummy buttery sense to it so you can see it in a lot of fast food restaurants as well because um say mcdonald's has the red but they want the yellow to follow up with the sort of it might be cheap but it is buttery and tasty white's a little different white um tends to make people think that it's sophisticated it's an intelligent one. It's not buying into the sort of flashiness of the other colors. And you can see that with the Apple um, logo right here. Uh, they've opted to make you think that they are sort of an elite, above modern sort of um, aesthetic. So the smart people will buy it. Or um, it's the sophisticated look in the area. 
Um, you can see that also with interior design. White is often considered the classic way to go. Blue tends to be um, an authority. You want loyalty with that one. Um, so you can see that with a lot of banks. A lot of banks will try and use the blue to uh, make you think that you can be trusted, as well as insurance and things like that. So it has a sense of loyalty. It has a sense of like luxury in offices. Um, but in the end, they're trustworthy. So you might see that with Walmart. And Walmart is using that combination of using a trustworthy color combined with the yellow that has that little bing of um, going back to, it is cheap, it's accessible. So it is not an elitist thing, even though they're using the blue. Interestingly, um, Facebook uses blue, but it's for a different reason. Blue's actually the easiest color for our eyes to see. So we can see the most variance. Um, most people with um, color blindness actually can see uh, blue, so that's another reason to use it. So it's very common. Um, you can see that also there's a sense that we think that um, logos don't change. And that's not true. Actually, they get rebranded uh, commonly. So you can think, see here the Walmart um, sign has actually evolved quite a bit over time. And they've played with the black and the brown back in the 60s um, through to the 80s and 90s. Um, but then they return to the blue, um, and that's because of the trustworthiness. So here's what I want to leave you with. I want you to think about what if the Disney logo was a different color? Or what suggestions would you do if Disney was to pick a new branding? Would that consider um, a different message? Do you think it's feasible that they would actually change their colors completely? What kind of rebranding would you suggest for Disney? if you had to decide.